In this episode, we talk about open houses and why they can sometimes not be that great for the home seller. Episode 21 of the Inside Real Estate Show, and I'm Darren Persinger of Persinger Group Real Estate. Thanks for joining me on another episode of Inside Real Estate. This one's kind of for home sellers. Home buyers, you might pick up a couple things that you didn't know or hadn't thought of, but this is really for home sellers out there, people thinking about getting their home on the market. We're going to be... Uh, even though we're talking about open houses, what I'm really going to be doing in this episode is I want to share with you a story. Uh, this is basically a cautionary tale of what's going on. I'm seeing it every single day because it, it's happening in my neighborhood with uh, a home for sale and open houses. So we'll get into that in a moment. But first, let's do some housekeeping. Housekeeping. First things first here. Thanks to you, thanks to you for listening to us, uh, for watching this, because just this week, we got a top rating, new and noteworthy. This show is up on iTunes podcast. If you didn't know that, now you do. For most of you, you probably already know that. Otherwise, we wouldn't have so many people listening to us over there and we wouldn't have gotten that new and noteworthy top rating over in the iTunes podcast. So first, thank you for listening. A lot more of you seem to be listening than watching, at least when it comes to YouTube. Not a lot of people watching on YouTube. I think like maybe 10, 20 people, 20 views per episode. Facebook, though, we're crushing it. Facebook, we're getting like 400, 500 views. So everyone's hanging out on Facebook watching us there. And I'll prove it. Here's a screenshot of us crushing it on Facebook. I hope we're doing 400, 500. Otherwise, that's going to be embarrassing. Um, second thing, cool article over at persingergroup.com slash blog about the Historical Society at in Monroe, Washington. So head over to persingergroup.com slash blog and check out that cool little article we did. Now, let's get into this. So we've recently moved into this new neighborhood. It's a new construction neighborhood, so uh, still home building going on. But there's a resale in the neighborhood. It's been on the market for about six weeks. So first, realize that the average days on market uh, roughly right now in this area um, would be f probably between 40 and 45 days. I haven't dug into it in the last week or so, so just kind of going off past data. I don't think it's changed that much. About 40, 45 days on market. So immediately we know uh, this home's been on the market longer than the average days. A little bit of a red flag there. Second thing for these poor home sellers there's an open house going on every single Sunday, literally every single Sunday. There's a sign in the yard uh, that does not move. It's never taken out of the yard. It has a for sale sign, but then it has another little sign that says open house Sunday 1 to 4. Every Sunday, open house. Every day that sign sits in the yard. So that means every week. The home sellers are having to prepare for the open house, make sure everything's organized, get everything packed up, leave the house, go do whatever they do every single Sunday. Uh, there's only so many matinees you can go to, I think. Not a ton of great movies out right now. Um, they leave every single Sunday, come back, still on the market, I'm talking about six weeks now. Just don't think this is the best uh, marketing method, an open house in today's world in 2016, March 2016, still doing the old school open house. I've checked around. I don't see a video tour of this home. And if you go back and you listen to episode eight of the Inside Real Estate Show, you know that I'm a big fan of video because of the emotional connection that it can create for the buyer, but also 
that it allows them to decide if I like it, I want to go see it in person, I want to see how it feels once I'm in the home, and or they can eliminate it and go, nah, that's not what I was looking for. I wanted uh, the living room to be over there and the dining room to have this kind of feeling and the master this far away. Whatever it is that the pictures don't tell the story, but a video tour of it, a video walkthrough tour gives you a little bit better shape, feel, dimension of what the home really is. This is why I like video tours. So go back and listen to episode eight of the Inside Real Estate Show. What I don't like, what I feel bad for these home sellers is this constant grind of having to leave the house. Could you imagine uh, packing your stuff up and having to leave for four or five hours every Sunday? Because you're not just walking out the door right as the open house starts. The real estate agent wants to get in, prepare, get all their flyers set up, all this business cards laid out, get the cookies, the balloons, whatever's going on. So you got to leave for like four to five hours. You're leaving your house. And it's obviously not selling definition of insanity, doing the same thing over and over again, expecting a different result. So um, if you are thinking about selling your home, if you're a home seller, if you're in our area here, the Snohomish County area, greater Seattle area, and you want to talk about selling your home, come talk to us. We'll tell you why we do video tours. We'll give you a ton of examples of what we've done in the past. If you're listening or watching the show somewhere else in the world, that's one, really awesome. Um, number two, ask the agent, are you going to do video? Why or why not? Are you going to do an open house? Why or not? Why not? Make them tell you and justify, and then you know. You know what's going on. You go, nah, I don't want you to do an open house every weekend. I want you to do a video. So giving you the insight behind the information so that you know why you're asking the questions that you're asking. And again, Thank you for joining me on this episode of Inside Real Estate. I'm Darren Persinger of Persinger Group Real Estate, reminding you that home is what you make it and make it someplace you love. Do I hear Pearl?